Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning at Earth and Sky Center and all of you online. We really appreciate each and every one of you. It is your feedback and your comments and your participation that fuels us to want to continue doing these uh, live talks. And we enjoy being able to offer this to each of you. We do a lot of classes here at the center and a lot of other things that we do in person, but our live talks are a way that we want to give back to share the love with the community and just give some ideas that spark joy and spark thoughts and spark uh, questions within your own mind so that you can delve deeper into figuring out what those answers are within yourself. We are never here to give you all of the answers. We are here to raise the questions so you can find out what's true for you, what makes sense for you, what resonates with you. There's not one answer that works for everybody. It's about what fits for you. What are you choosing? during this lifetime here while you're in this body here at this time at this place and one of the things that I really like about the Kabbalah we've addressed this a couple times lately in some of the life talks is that the Kabbalah teaches us there are so many different ways to look at everything and each time you feel like you get an answer on something there's an opposite answer somewhere else and there's a different answer from that somewhere else and so it's about sifting through the layers and figuring out what resonates for you what makes sense for you how do you dig deeper into the wisdom to figure out and find your own truth and what works for your life so that you can be manifesting your greatest destiny so you can choose what is best for your life, for you, what sparks the greatest joy, the greatest hope, the greatest strength, all of those great things that you have within yourself. So today I wanted to talk about five different ways, and don't get caught up on the word that I use, but five different ways that you can use prayer. So prayer doesn't necessarily mean you're asking some being that's in the sky. It is a way that you can center with yourself. So for some people, they do see that as a way. And if that's what resonates with you, it's your way of asking some other being that's up here, or maybe it's a multitude of beings that are up there. Or it might be that you, your use of the word pray is more about looking within yourself and figuring out what answers are within yourself. Where do you find strength within yourself? Where do you find the way to calm down and quiet out everything else that's going on around you in the world? But these are five different ways of consciousness would be another word to use for it instead. Five ways to elevate your consciousness. Five ways to figure out how to get things to be working the way you want them to work on your life path. And maybe your life path is already where you want it to be and you're maybe thinking about taking it to greater heights or how do you keep it going? How do you expand it in different ways? So these are all five different ways to think about your consciousness and to tap into elevating that consciousness. It might be that these are different things that you want to meditate on or ponder on or think about or concepts that you want to bring into yourself and think and think and think and then let it go and release it because that's a big part of the point of it. That's a, one of the things that we teach in manifesting too is whenever you're wanting to manifest something, you think about what it is exactly that you want, get a big picture of it, decide, think of all the details details and then let it go completely and let the universe handle it or let your higher self handle it and bring it to you because the way it actually starts to flow in is after you release it and you let it go and you just expect to see it and you have a trust and a certainty that it will come in and so that's what these five concepts are about today and ways that you can really look to elevate things within yourself. So the first one, a good thing to use as a, either a form of prayer or a form of meditation or a form of consciousness, whatever word resonates for you, would be to help you transform a negative quality in your life. So if you are trying to figure out how to make your life better, one of the things you could do is look at, hmm, what negative qualities do I have in my life? What maybe bad habits do I have that I want to change? We all have certain things. It's a, another interesting truth that when you can recognize within yourself that you are absolutely whole and perfect just as you are because your soul is perfect and you are your soul, yet at the same time, 
we're on a continuing journey of growth, which means there are definitely some things, because we're in human form, that we could change and transform. There are some negative qualities. Maybe it's that you're really harsh on yourself, or maybe it's that you have struggle to see the positive in different things, or maybe you're kind of grumpy with other people when you're frustrated or upset or um, tired, or you know, it could be a multitude of different things. We all have different things that are negative qualities. So think about what those are within yourself, and then that you can ponder or pray or think think or meditate or you can even add this into yoga if you do yoga and do some yoga poses where you think about what are those negative qualities that you want to transform bring the consciousness of it up to the surface and then as you're holding that yoga pose and you start to breathe out release that that trait release the concept of the trait with your breath you can do this in any of those five any of those forms of consciousness but think about what the traits are recognize them within yourself and then release it. Ask the universe to help you out. Ask the universe to bring the resources and the tools and the awareness to you that you need or your higher self. If you might see that within your belief system, it might be that you are the highest deity within your life. And so it's about bringing in your highest self to help you recognize and release those traits so that you can let them go so that you can reach and ascend up to some of the higher levels. Whatever concept it is, is these concepts will work for you. We can get into other life talks to get into some of those other details later, but to think about what are some negative qualities and don't get overwhelmed. Some people might think of a whole bunch of them. Others might struggle to think of one, two or three of them. So just start with a couple of the negative qualities and let them go, recognize them and start to bring your awareness when you start to be triggered, when you start to have them happen. We've talked lately a couple times about tikkun, which is the challenges that we come here to earth to experience so that those challenges bring us different types of stress so that we can re reach the growth that we're here to experience. So those negative qualities a lot of times are tied into that. So being able to recognize what they are and then see each time they happen and each time you see yourself exhibiting those, maybe use your breath to release it out and let it go away and allow yourself to transform one at a time, allowing those to release. If you practice Reiki, Reiki is a fantastic method for being able to recognize those and to release them. You can send Reiki to the situation of it every day and then start noticing over, maybe do a weekly check-in and start noticing those qualities that you listed at the beginning of the week or maybe you listed them on Sunday after you do this live talk. It'd be good homework for today. Look at those next week and think, which of those maybe got a little better? Which things didn't trigger you as much as maybe they would have before since you consciously brought your awareness to releasing them and allowing those negative qualities to be lifted up to the light and transformed. And know that as you release those, there will be some others later that come to the surface because we're always in a process of growth. But each time you do that, you're allowing your soul to ascend higher and higher to greater points of consciousness within yourself. So that would be the first method for elevating your consciousness or ways to pray or ways to meditate or ways to bring yourself into a greater point with your unity with your higher self. The second one would be to see, to ask the universe or to ask your higher self to reveal what is blocking your greatest fulfillment? We all came here to achieve a certain destiny and we all have a destiny that we can figure out what that is through many different questions, many different uh, options through asking questions or different journeys that we can do to find out what that destiny is if you don't know what your destiny is. But whether you do or you don't know, if you ask to have released whatever is blocking the fulfillment of your greatest destiny, that's a great path to be able to have your destiny revealed to you 
or if you feel you've been derailed off of your destiny, it's a great way to help get those obstacles cleared that have been in the path of it so that you can come back into living your best life. We all have an amazing and unique purpose that we are here for, that we chose why we wanted to be here, that we wanted to experience, that we wanted to achieve, but sometimes life gets in the way and we forget and we get little blocks that come up with it or big blocks sometimes that come up. So ask the universe to help bring your awareness to it or ask your higher self or whatever deity you talk to, ask that it be brought to your awareness, whatever is blocking your greatest fulfillment and that those blocks are released. If you're wanting to do this in a meditation, you could even do a visualization of it. So you can imagine your destiny within your mind and if you don't know what it is, maybe put an, a nice image to it, a beautiful gift wrapped present and sparkling shimmering stars all around it and you're on your way to it, but there are blocks in the way. And so as you meditate, imagine that each each of those blocks in the way just start to shift and transform. Those blocks might burst out like fireworks and clear out of the path, or you might see them getting higher and higher as the blocks raise up with some helium and go out to the sky and they're eventually just cleared out of your path. But the point is letting that be released, recognizing that if you're not already achieving your greatest fulfillment, that there's something that's probably blocking your path. And you can choose to bring your awareness to it and ask that it be released and cleared out so that you can run right towards that beautiful gift that is your greatest fulfillment and your greatest destiny. The third thing is to ask to strengthen your positive qualities. So we all have many, many different qualities while we're here. That's a big part of being in human form is the, the level of the first heaven, which is the earth and the birds and the animals and the trees and the people and everything here. We have everything in this realm has different levels of motivation. There's levels of ego that are good and that are bad. And through that, we have negative qualities and positive qualities. You might be somebody that has a, a struggle with procrastination and so or you maybe you don't feel like you have the willpower to get up and do the things that you want to do you'd really rather just save it for later and go back to sleep and so those would be some qualities that you want to lift up to the light to allow those things to release and then as you come into this step three with strengthening your positive qualities it brings you into what things are working within you what things are good within you because for every negative quality that you have there are also positive qualities and those positive qualities that are within you are actually resources and tools that you are gifted with that you build skills in as you practice them to be able to release those negative qualities to work through and clear out that negativity so as you ask the light or ask your higher self to help build your capacity to create to strengthen those positive qualities sometimes it really helps just to simply maybe go into a meditative state clear out all the distractions and list off within yourself what are your positive qualities for some people, it's harder to list the positive qualities that they have than it is the negative qualities. Sometimes we're trained in this life that we don't think as highly of ourselves as we should. It's really about a balance. It's about having humility, being humble, but also recognizing that you are an amazing person and you have so many fantastic and awesome qualities within yourself and recognizing what those are and filling yourself up with the light to strengthen those qualities. And as you do, you're gonna be running more and more closer and closer to achieving your destiny and finding what your greatest fulfillment is. And as you run through and you reach that greatest fulfillment, you'll be able Able to figure out there's something even bigger and even better that can come in next but it's about going in that order release the negative qualities clear out what's blocking your greatest fulfillment strengthen the positive qualities and then you know what comes next number four ask the light or ask your higher self to show you how to achieve your purpose in this world so it's one thing to as I mentioned kind of 
figure out what that destiny is or what your greatest achievement is. If you have no idea what it is yet, it might look like a, a present that's gift wrapped with shimmering stars all around it. You want to know what it is. So what do you do? You lift that up. Ask your higher self. Ask the light to reveal it to you. Start looking and then as you do that, you can come into a more practical form with it too and ask the light to show you how to achieve your purpose in the world. And if you really have no idea at all what to do or how to do that, start looking at what sparks joy within you because your greatest purpose that you have is something that will bring you such a tremendous amount of joy, such a great amount of sparks of light and creativity and happiness, but the road to get there can sometimes be really, really bumpy because you have to clear out those negative qualities and you have to work through the challenges of finding it, but all the resources are already in you. We are built with everything we need already in ourselves, but it's about learning how to recognize it and being able to let go completely so that we can come back into ourselves. Oftentimes we get weighed down so much by the, the heaviness and the fatigue and everything of the world because it starts to pile up within us. And so we become almost like lead weights in a way because we get all of these issues and worries and things that hold us down. So the way to break free of that is simply to lift it up and let it go to the light. Let it go out of your body. Let it go out of your mind, out of your spirit, out of your soul, and turning it over to your higher self or the light or whatever source it is that you see as being able to surrender all of that out to so that you can be light again, so that you can see the core of what's in you, which is an amazing light. Asui Sensei, uh, who is one of the founders of the system of Reiki that we use today, had said when he received his greatest degree of enlightenment, he said, the universe is in me just as I am in the universe. And that is so profound when you really take some time to think about it because it shows that every resource you need, every quality that you need, everything that you're looking for out here is actually already in you. You just have to release all these layers and blinders and blocks and things that have weighed you down so you can see that sparkling, shiny, bright star that is who you are, that you are not only in the universe, but you also have the entirety of the universe in you. And so that happens with number four, asking the light or your higher self or whatever deity that you focus on to show me how to achieve my purpose in this world. And simply the fact of asking creates such a tremendous amount of energy around it that it starts happening and gathering all of the energy in the universe around you, bringing it in so that as you're looking for what is your highest ability or achievement, your purpose in the world, as you ask that question, the energy gathers in and then suddenly you see it as you're looking for it. You always have to remember to keep your eyes open after you ask these things too, so you can see the way the universe whispers and speaks back to you. And then the fifth one, is the one that's also really one of the, the greatest methods that we can use of a way to increase consciousness or to elevate ourselves, to elevate, to come into the, the wholeness and the unity of consciousness, which is number five, to help elevate another person, to help somebody else to be happy without interfering with what their tycoon is, but to help others to elevate and to be happy. This is a, an amazing way of really recognizing that unity. So just as you are pulling in and recognizing that you're in the universe and the universe is in you, which means all of us are all one with each other, sometimes it's hard to see those things exactly within ourselves. It's easier to see what's going on all around us. So when you are elevating and working to make somebody else 
else happy and you're giving of yourself or you're figuring out what somebody else needs and you're offering it to them in the way that they want to receive it, that is a great gift not only to that person but also to yourself. Because as you're giving to somebody else, you're giving to yourself as well because we're all one with each other. And as you're doing that and as you're lifting up that energy and letting that's more of an active form of raising consciousness or an active form of praying or however whichever word resonates the most with you but it's that active form of it as you're giving and working to elevate someone else maybe you're trying to lift somebody else up that you know is struggling and so you're sending reiki to them or you're giving them a call and asking if you can do something for them it can be on many different levels it can be asking the light to help them in whatever way is best for them. One of the things I teach a lot about in Reiki is keeping our own intent out of it. And I think that goes even beyond Reiki in the fact that when we're working to help someone else it's about asking the light to help them in whatever way is best for them or asking the person because we don't always know. We often, usually, don't know all of the variables. But when you are working to help elevate or make others happy, it is a great, beautiful way of raising your own consciousness, which is then going to help you be on the path of joy and happiness within your life. Because whatever you're doing in life, whatever action you're taking, that's a reflection of what your consciousness is. So if you're often running away from whatever you're supposed to be doing, you're running away from what your responsibilities are, you're running away from not wanting to talk to people, not wanting to hear what people have to say, that's really showing your consciousness is in a pattern of really trying to run away. If you're in a pattern of consciousness where you're uh, trying to be, you know, really on time for things and you're really listening very intently when people talk to you and you're really trying to be very present fully, very much in the now, wherever you are, whatever moment you're in, whatever's going on around you, good or bad, when you can train yourself to just be present in the now, knowing that you're going to be okay, because no matter what happens, it's happening in this moment, and your reaction to it, or your decision to pause instead of reacting, and choosing where your level of consciousness is going to be, really is an echo of where your consciousness is. As you're training yourself and learning how to just be in this moment, in the now, and how to find joy, whatever's going on around you in life. As you are able to pull that in, you're able to come into a place where you're in your own power. All of our personal power, all of our ability to create and be and think in our greatest levels is when we are present within ourselves in the current moment. Because truly the only thing that exists is the present moment. So when you train your brain to pause, not be thinking about everything else that's going on before or after this, but really be present right now, you're able to lift your consciousness into a state where you have your full power, your full ability, and your full ability to choose your full decisions where you can really start creating the life of your dreams. You're able to manifest what you choose because you're not running, you're not avoiding, you're not trying to control every single factor that is not a possibility that's flying all around you. Instead, you're calmly in the present moment, in the now, you're going to find you can create so much more in life when you calm yourself to be very centered just in the present moment of the now. So just to recap those five different things to elevate your consciousness, the first one is asking your highest self or the light or whatever source you want to ask to help you transform a negative quality. Work on one or two at a time. As you make progress with that, then focus on another one. One of the things people tend to do if they tend to try to run too much is they'll choose a whole bunch of them and then get overwhelmed because you can't do 10 at once. So focus on one or two. Let those start to transform. Move into step number two to ask the light, your higher self or whoever you want to ask to help to see what's blocking your greatest fulfillment. Simply that 
the concept of asking creates that tremendous energy to clear those blocks out as you're training yourself to simply pause and be present in the moment of the now. The third step is asking to strengthen your positive qualities, asking the light to flow into you, asking the source of Reiki to flow into you, asking that your positive qualities, reminding yourself simply by asking, you're refocusing your brain within yourself to strengthen your higher and positive qualities. Number four, to ask to show you how to achieve your purpose in the world. Ask the light to show you how can you achieve your purpose in this world. Sometimes it might be something that you feel like is, ah, I see it, I know it, I'm there. Or it might be that you really have no clue which direction you're even looking. But wherever you are in this, or probably somewhere in between, ask that you are able to see the path so that you are able to achieve your purpose in this world. It is so fulfilling and so amazing when you're on that path. The last one again, the highest level of consciousness that you can bring yourself into, elevating yourself, is when you're in that state, being in the present moment of the now and focusing on elevating others, helping others to be happy in the way that makes them happy. What they want to be happy might be something totally different than what makes you happy. So focusing on how you can elevate others because in so doing, you're really recognizing the fact of the unity that we all have. Remembering that the universe is in you completely, wholly, entirely, just as you are in the universe. Everything you do to everyone else, whether it's somebody that you're passing by as another driver on the road, or it's somebody that you work with, or somebody that's close in your family, is a reflection of who you are and where your consciousness is, is what will dictate how you respond, how you perhaps pause and choose consciously instead of simply reacting, remembering that each thing you're doing is elevating your state of consciousness when you're choosing it consciously. So I hope that gives you some food for thought for today and, uh, and some things that you can focus on this week. It's Sunday, so it's a perfect day to start making those lists of thinking about what are a couple negative qualities you want to transform? What are a couple positive qualities that you want to enhance? Or maybe you just want to turn it all over and ask that the light of the universe fill you with whatever is best. Your highest self truly already knows the answers. So sometimes just surrendering that over and asking the light to flow into you and really being conscious this week with each thing you do, working hard to live in the moment of the now, being fully present within yourself with each choice you make, each thing you do. When you're talking to somebody, are you listening kind of in your head as you're thinking about some other things or figuring out how you want to respond and maybe you caught a third of what they said? Or are you consciously really being present with everybody who's in your life so that you can then choose consciously how to respond? That's going to make such a big difference in everything that you do in life when you're able to learn how to bring that in. Be in the present moment. Allow yourself to fill up fully with the essence and the beauty and the love and the wonder and the power and the joy and the gratitude that is the light. I hope that gives you some good food for thought and some great homework for this week. Have a great week everyone. We'll see you next Sunday.